It used to be that the Consumer Electronics Show was all just fun and gizmos. The worst anyone could imagine here was that a battery might catch fire. But now, manufacturers are connecting nearly every kind of device to the internet. And that means almost any of this could be hacked. Now we're talking about cars, we're talking about door locks, we're talking about phones, of course. Uh, it's virtually everything that you buy today it probably has a chip in it, probably has software in it, and could be subject to malware. And if it's connected to the internet, then it could be infected from anywhere in the world. We're now relying on consumer electronics companies to do more than just entertain us. We're relying on them to keep us safe. NVIDIA used to make the chips for Xboxes and Playstations, gaming consoles. Now, they're making the chips that are supposed to drive autonomous cars. And while it's easy to imagine what could go wrong when one self-driving car gets hacked, the top people at the world's largest information security companies are worried about larger problems. Now you take that self-driving car or that set of self-driving cars and you make them accelerate all at once or slow down all at once or drive to the same location all at once and the implications are massive. The estimate is that by 2050, 20 billion devices will be connected. A network of gadgets that listen to your conversations, deliver your packages and heat your house. The underlying worry at this year's Consumer Electronics Show is not just how to make and sell all that stuff, it's how to protect it. Jacob Ward, Al Jazeera, Las Vegas.